Uncle Dennis here, and the saint and I have decided to do a bit of dress up and celebrate Halloween. And to top it all off, the saint's going to fill you in on some interesting criteria and facts about the uh, In America, it's Halloween. You think I forgot about America, didn't you? It wasn't that long ago, like 50 years ago, nice to live there. Well, we're here in Australia, it's already Halloween. Anyway, um, in Australia, we are on See the World as a Globe. I don't think so, Saint Peter. Imagine the world. As a global. Now, America is in the Northern Hemisphere, and here we're in the Southern Hemisphere, and the world turns. And it's true that in Halloween, well, uh, it's not true, but it's the legend is that the portals to the other world opens on Halloween. Um, between the two solstices. But the period between Wait a minute, uh, Saint, isn't the solstice a dance? You know, like you do the solstice? Uh, it's like a Mexican or Spanish sort of dance. I dance the solstice quite a few times. It's a very sexy dance. You know. The Maypoles, which is their spring festival where they used to burn the wicker man into It was the rebirth, the rebirth thing that they in the northern hemisphere. Which in the southern hemisphere is where it rock October. This is probably the time when we would probably have May Day, where we'd be burning the Wicker Man and um, having the Mardi Gras and all of that sort of thing, which has a wicked side to it. But we're in the Antipodes. The Antipodes means on the other side or below, the underworld. And everything is the opposite. Everything is on the top of the world. And Gee, Saint, I wouldn't know what day that Halloween date would be. Can you tell us? Well, I'll give you a clue. Which day of the year is the worst day of the year? It really gives you the heebie-jeebies. Everybody in Australia knows this day. It's a weird day. It is our fall, it is our autumn, and it is the day that we usually sit around and we think something's terribly wrong. Something bad. You mean the last day of the financial year, don't you? Yeah, well, apart from that... Um, no, um, I am talking about Good Friday. Good Friday is not good. It brings me back to some intriguing information I was once given up a friend of mine who was studying to be in the Jesuit priesthood and he said that uh, uh, most people that type of thing you know you got to be careful driving on the road because you can go into one of those uh, sort of trance states like an ananap or a bit like you've been partying too much and that's actually known as the devil's hour and the Christ hour is known as three o'clock in the afternoon because that is the time when Christ on Good Friday expired on the cross and of course, three days later, he's um, in a lot of Catholic mystics, apparently, Catholics, that the devil's hour is three o'clock in the morning, and the Christ hour is three o'clock in the morning. of hitting nails and crosses and having orgasms about the death of a great man. And some of us more sensitive people, when sphere, they hear those nails going into that cross. It's like someone's hitting a nail right through you. And I always thought that these cults, like Christianity, something terribly wrong with it. It's spooky, it's horrifying, it's scary that people see something It is a horrible thing. It's something worthy of the wicked man, something worthy of Halloween. And no wonder in Australia that people see visions of skeletons Cycles, people feel the dust of a chill coming out as we just come out these times. It is chilling, and no one actually 
that little sort of Halloween Easter egg for you over the next few days. So uh, you look forward to it, and I'd like to thank the Saint for being here with me in this video today. Happy Halloween! 